Hello guys, how are you? Today we're going to set up uh, a WordPress on our local environment with the virtual host. So I have this htdocs folder here and this is the, the WordPress folder. I gave it a name test. And if you decided it, you see that WP content and WP admin of the files, those are you see in the WordPress folder. Now I also have a uh, local host PHP here my admin where I have a WordPress table uh, you can may give any name uh, here all, all you need to do that you need to set up the name of your uh, table in the WordPress settings so to make in virtual host uh, let me show you if we go to the link test dot test or we get the WordPress uh, setup configuration or where it is asking for the details if you click let's go here you need to define the database name the name you give here you do not need to create any uh, internal tables it is going to be done by here with the WordPress now to access it on test.test .test, we need to uh, play with the configuration a little so we go into applications SAMP HDDocs uh, sorry, we need to go into EDC and then extra and there is this file httpd vhost we need to get into this file now if you see I have defined the virtual host here it says htdoc test and test.test .test. so you just need to put the same code exactly code if you want any other name just put here and give it the name in dot test you can try dot dev or dot box or dot anything uh, but it is better uh, to use test once this part is done we need to go and work with the host file so for that we go to file folder and type private and in here we go to edc and look for the file that says hosts now here we are going to open it with the sublime text and we have it here now I have a few projects set up these uh, all projects are here but the one we are working with is test.test .test, you can see here and uh, you need to add this similar and if you have any other name instead of test just put it here and dot test and once it is done we need to restart our ZAMP so just stop it all and run it all again and you should have uh, the local WordPress working. Now I have WordPress table here and user is by default is root password I'm not giving any and this is table free prefix like in WordPress you will have some tables inside like for example I have this database I have tables here so mm, these are normal names like categories we will get WP categories if we give WP here like this WP underscore categories so you can define that in the WordPress table what do you want as a prefix so I say here anything you can say your name uh, I say Manu and I click on uh, submit it says like uh, sorry but we can't write it so what do we need to do we need to make this file I copy uh, this code from here and uh, I need to create a brand new file and I'm gonna put this name I'm gonna save it now this file needs to be saved in the same directory where we have our WordPress setup so we go to application SAMP htdocs now our WordPress folder is with the name of test so in here we need to save it the file is there now we need to put the code uh, th this code control P uh, control C sorry and we can put it here now if I go on the top you can see that prefix setup to Manu and we have our database name here root here password you can change it any time you want so close that refresh the page it says already exists install now site name it says uh, test username I want to say Manu password one two three 
very weak totally fine this is my email address install WordPress so it is getting installed you can see that success and I'm asking for login if I go to my WordPress table we have the tables and you can see the menu as the prefix here now we put here our name and the password click remember login okay we have our WordPress setup now if you go here click on visit site you will see your site working we have some demo content here if you go to post you have some hello world content I'm gonna trash it out and uh, we have some demo pages if you don't want them you can know them they're trash as well so we have themes here uh, this is the latest one uh, available but in here we are going to create a custom theme and I'm gonna go with it so in the next video I'm going to create a custom theme and then we will start customizing it thank you for watching